Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash and welcome to my camera control tutorial for MV3D. In this tutorial we're going to go over the basics of how to control your camera in MV3D. We'll be covering how to control pitch, yaw, roll, camera distance, and camera height from the ground. It'll be much more effective if I let my assistant Chibi Amalgamash show you. So let's get started. Hello everybody, I am Chibi Amalgamash and I'm here to help you understand the terminology used in camera control. The first thing that I want to emphasize is it's very important when we're talking about third person, which is how you are viewing me now, versus first person when you are the character themselves and the camera. This is important because the camera changes behaviors depending on whether or not you are in first or third person. In third person, for example, let's look at the yaw rotation. The yaw rotates around a vertical axis. The camera itself stays horizontal. Let's move around while I move the yaw of the camera. And then we're staying still. The behavior here is that the player character is the target of the camera. The camera never deviates from the player character even if they're moving around. In first person mode, however, the camera and the player character are one and the same. That wraps up the yaw. Let's look at the pitch of the camera now. The pitch rotates around a horizontal axis. Let's move around while I adjust the pitch. And let's check it out in first person. What a beautiful night. I wonder if I'll find any coins on the ground. Along with the pitch and the yaw of the camera is the roll. The roll has the camera rotating around an axis all by itself. You can use the roll with the pitch and yaw to create very dramatic camera angles. In our PG Maker, no, <clears throat> in MV3D, roll is referred to as rotation. Now that we have those out of the way, let's look at camera distance. This is not the same as camera zoom, although it may seem pretty similar at first. The distance of the camera to its target is measured in tiles, although you can move it in increments in less than one tile as well. Let's move the distance of the camera closer to the player. When the distance is zero, the camera is in first person. Finally, let's look at the height of the camera. This is the distance of the camera from the ground, not necessarily the player. You can still control the yaw, and pitch, rotation, and distance from the player of the camera, but the camera will be positioned above the player. That is, it will be on a different plane. Distance from the ground is also measured in tiles. and a distance of zero is parallel to the ground. Go too far down and you'll start clipping underneath the map. Really quick, let's take a look at perspective versus orthographic camera modes. We're in perspective mode now. Take a look at this building while I walk around it. The distances between the angles seem to change just like they would in real life, because of your perspective. However, once I change to orthographic, those remain the same. Orthographic mode can be very useful for isometric top-down games, but it can look a little bit weird when you give your player control of the camera.
However, if your camera angle is fixed, it can be a neat way to show off your maps. And that's it. Back to you, regular sized Amalgamash. All right, now that we're back, let's implement these camera controls. If you are familiar with plugins in RPG Maker MV, then you are probably already familiar with note tags. Now there are a lot of ways to add note tags because note tags can be attached to many of the different components of the game. You can think of note tags as a way to comment on features of your creations and provide additional information to anybody who is on the development side of your game. So let's take a look at map 001 here. And here we have the map properties in the editor and in the note tag section we can see the mv3d tag and the forward slash mv3d tag. Now, everything in between these two tags is information for mv3d. I have the premium version so I have the skybox and sun tags but we're going to focus on just the camera tag. Let's give you a better look. These are arguments or parameters that are passed to the camera object in the game. When you use the camera tag in your map note tags, you are really telling the engine where you would like your camera to be by default. If you don't allow your player to control the camera, then this is the point of view that the player is going to have the entire time they are in the map. The first number refers to the yaw of the camera in degrees. This can be anything from zero to 360 and beyond. If we set it to 45, our yaw will be at a diagonal to the target. The next number refers to the pitch of the camera. The camera is up in the air pointing down at the player at 50 degrees. The next parameter is distance. The camera is six tiles away from the player. The last parameter is the height. The camera is half of a tile or cube off of the ground. At zero, the camera is sitting on the ground. It might be a little hard to see, and this is why I don't want to go too far into it, but basically every time I clicked on the NPC in my demonstration, MV3D would take the roll of the camera and set it to what it currently was, minus one, and it would take half of a second to get to that position. For my needs, I felt like this was the most natural movement, and that's why I set those values but you're free to change these numbers any way you please. We will take a look at one plugin command, and that's the plugin command that changes the camera mode from orthographic to perspective and vice versa. The plugin command is very simple, and you can add it to any NPC or event. It's simply this line of text here, mv3d space camera space mode space orthographic or perspective. By adding that to click trigger events on my chicken and slime events, I was able to change the camera angle in real time. In my demonstration, I had another NPC who would give you the current values of the camera. This can be very useful for debugging and for getting the information so that you can decide where you want your camera to be. But basically, I used script to set the distance, pitch, height, yaw, and roll of the camera into five different variables and then I displayed those variables in a text window. It looks a little funky in the editor, but in the actual message box, it all lined up just about right. By the way, the click trigger is a Yanfly plugin, and you'll have to download that separately from MV3D. For the purpose of my demonstration, I did use my gamepad controls for MV3D plugin. I'll link to it in the description below, but it provides you with very intuitive PlayStation-like controls for using the right analog stick of your controller to control the camera. Cutie Virus, formerly known as Dread, has said that they will add camera support in the future, so that this plugin may become defunct at some point. This is the kind of information you can expect to see if you want to download the plugin and examine it. Because MV3D only works on the map scene, we're not going to be looking at the battle scene, because as of this video, that's not something the plugin supports. I hope that you learned about camera controls today. If you have any questions or need any clarification, be sure to hit me up. Thanks to Cutie Virus for this amazing plugin. And thanks to my helper, Chibi Amalgamash. For walking around the 3D virtual world when I couldn't.
I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.